Well, ladies and gents, it's 7.55 in the morning. The dealer opens at 8. I got my trucks ready to rock and roll. We are ready to get loaded up. So what we're going to be doing today is this is part of my hauling series, and I bought a new truck for the business. So we're going to be hauling. Um, basically, a farmer is leasing equipment from the dealer, and the dealer subcontracts my haul subcontracts hauling out. So I'm, I'm the hauler. And uh, basically, th this guy, this farmer, is leasing equipment to head down to uh, Texas for a wheat harvest. So you can see he's got the flotation tires and stuff. I w if I was him, I would have went with like an 8R or something. Not a 95, 20R is a little too big. What the heck? Do you see that? Do you see inside the edge there? It's like you can still see. I think they screwed up a little bit of the body in here. But uh, yeah, the one thing he, do he doesn't have, I guess he didn't buy as a grain car. Or he didn't lease as a grain car. He only leased the equipment. Uh, for wheat harvest down in Texas. So I'm going to get him loaded up and I'm going to transport it over there. I don't know how he's hauling equipment or what, but I'm just getting it to his farm, getting it prepped up. I think he has another hauling crew that hauls it down to Texas for him. I don't know. I figured he'd have his own semi and stuff. So what I did is we have our Kenworth, our W, I think it's a W900, you know, the normal one we were hauling construction equipment with. And guys, like hauling and farm sim is super fun. That's kind of how I started the channel. So I like to, I like to kind of keep up with it and, uh, and do it a little bit too. So I'm going to go to my semi and show you guys. We had, I think this is a W900, or T800, I should say. And then I got a T880 triaxle right here. Now, it has a custom modding, custom harvesting logo on there, but uh, it's ours. I, I can't get the logo off for some reason, but I really wanted this truck. So we don't have anybody helping us today. It's just going to be me. So I'm going to load both these trucks up, haul one down there, tab back, and then haul the other. So I don't know what we'll load first, but uh, I think we'll start to... Uh, Okay, we'll start with uh, the T800. Get her loaded. Now, this one has... This isn't the day cab. This has the... What did I just do? What the heck? What am I doing? What? You guys see this? I'm trying to go... I was trying to move left and right, and I'm moving this. I'm sliding this up and down. Okay, there we go. But now I just made it really weird. Now it's really long out there. How did it... What button did I press? Okay, I, did, I don't know how I did that, but I was moving this up and down. Man. And now it's really extremely far out there. Okay, whatever. Man, that looks really weird now. But, uh, uh, okay, anyways, guys, if you want to win FS19, I'm giving a copy out every week like you've heard. I'll link the first link in the description. All you got to do is go comment on this video. And when you comment, you'll be entered. I have a software that chooses a random comment, and that's how you're entered. So be subscribed to my channel, comment, and like that video. I'll have the link down below in the description if you want to win a copy. It'll be a copy of your choosing. Okay. Dude, I need to uh, a console of your choosing. So either if you want it on PC, I'll buy it for you on PC. If you want an Xbox, I'll buy it for your Xbox. If you want PS4, buy a PS4. Okay, man, I I want to adjust that. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. So I think that's as far as we can go. We'll just go right there. But that was kind of weird. I was wondering how I was sliding it like that. So we will unhook here. There, oh wait, shoot, wrong one, wrong one. There we go. And I gotta get my controller out because we'll be hauling with my controller when I steer. There we go, we'll drop her off. Okay, this time I think I'm gonna load up. Ah, this is tough. We'll take uh we'll take the combine first. Yeah, we'll try we'll try the combine. We'll jump in the combine. Start up this baby. Get her going. There we go, we gotta let her warm up just a little bit, you know? Okay, here we go, we'll load her up. I kinda like these flotation tires. I've always been a big fan of like row crop and stuff. Like, how do I say this? Like front duels on this. On the combine and stuff, not not big fat flotation tires or anything like that, but flotation tires look kind of cool. And the combine feels real soft right now. Like it feels like it has flotation tires on. Which, uh, dude, farmers these days, especially. Oh shoot, I don't know. If, oh man, I might not prepared for this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit this combine on here. If we do, it's gonna be really tough. Fit on here, shoot. That's one thing I should have prepared for. Ah, uh, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So what I need is, uh, I need a different trailer to haul this. I need a different trailer to be able to haul this. I can haul the 9R, but I'm going to have to go, I hate to, we're going to have to add extensions on this. That's what we're going to have to do if we really want to get this done. So we'll load up the 9R quick, jump in the, hop in the 9R. But anyways, farmers around us, dude, it is literally, some farmers haven't gotten any crops out, and it literally just snowed an inch. It's snow. I'm recording this on Sunday, and it's snowing right here in Iowa. It's insane right now. It is insane. It's like it was snowing pretty hard and stuff. 
and it was actually sticking to the ground. So it's uh, it's pretty crazy. So farmers are going to need they're going to need tracks on their combines. They're going to need uh, you know they're going to need to be able to see out of that mud somehow. Okay, we got the nine R up here. Perfect. Dude, this is going to be a lot of weight. How much does a nine R weigh? Like in real life? Man, I couldn't even see like stuff like this. I can't even wrap my mind around it. Um, I'm, I mean, if I had to throw out a guess, 60, 60,000 pounds, 50,000 pounds, maybe 60 or 50,000 pounds. That's what I guess. I have no idea that, that could be totally inaccurate. Okay. We'll pull around here, hook her up. And then, uh, I need to get a different trailer. There we go. She's attached. Is this going to be too much? We should be able to lock the load. Oh, okay. It's locked already. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of a lot of weight. Why does it tip to the side, though? It's kind of weird, but it's working. Okay, so I'm going to pull our semi around here, get this ready to go, and then we got to go pick up a different low load to be able to haul this stuff. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like the video. And if you, if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Okay, so we'll shut off the semi. Um, and then I, I got to find a different low loader somehow. So we, I'm going to go find a different low loader. Okay. So I bought a new one, but somehow we got to, I got to take this back to the shop and speaking of shop, I need to get a shop because right now I'm just renting from the farmer. So for now I'm going to just leave this. Hopefully, hopefully the dealership's okay with it. But for now I'm just, I just got to drop this thing off. So what we're going to do now. So I will disconnect this and we will get uh we'll start her up and we'll go hook up to the other one now the other one i think i know how this works it should have things that come out of the side to haul combines on this is a cut this is actually the same uh the same person that made this low loader is the same person that made uh this truck we have right now here so it should i think it'll work i, I think i know how it works so we'll back up here and then we need to get this uh combine load yet there we go we'll hook up perfect some like this is I don't know the hauling the hauling we're doing is like stuff i would have done like two years ago and i can't believe i'm still doing it today but it's still like i can just keep doing it over and over again it's still really fun to haul like heavy equipment just in farm sim and in like other games like american trucking similar but farm, farm sim it's cool especially when we get these cool mods okay we gotta grab this now i gotta find here we go we'll go all the way around here and then i gotta find a good spot to shoot 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 we're going a little tight We'll load up right here, probably. I'll drop this puppy off. Nope. There we go. Okay, and we'll pull the semi up, and then we'll get the combine load up. Perfect. Okay, now that... Oh, wait. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Shoot. I forgot to enable the sides out there. So we got to back up, hook up to it, and then I should be able to enable these sides. Check this out. So if I attach here... Oh, uh, come on. Right there. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to work. Unfold, low boy. Yes. There we go. Okay. Is this going to be wide enough, though? Dude, I, this is going to be barely wide enough if it is. We'll try it. We'll try it. But this is going to be... This is going to be barely wide enough if this works. Oh, okay. We'll hop in here and we'll try her. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the S680. We'll fire her up and then back her on. But, dude, this is going to be tough. At least we got the... I mean, at least we don't have too wide of stuff. We just need to be able to just barely fit it on here. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's going to work. It should work. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I'll slowly hop on here. Right there. We're both on. Both on. Both on. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, one of them's off over here. There we go. We're both on right there. Okay. This is all I got, man. Now, I, hopefully this doesn't... It might fall off and it might slip off. But right now we got it loaded on. Oh, this is going to be a lot of weight, too. We're good. Look, this doesn't slip off. And it's locked. Sweet. We're good. There we go, dude. Okay, perfect. Um, Let's haul the combine first. We'll get going with the combine. Okay, so the road we're going to take is... Down by field 31. We're going to take this road all the way down there. We're going to take a turn kind of north of field 30. And then the farm right by 31 is where we got to deliver this load to. So if I go out here, I want to take a right. And then we take another right. And then we're going to take the road all the way down there. Okay. Enable blinkers. How, how did I enable these again? 
Oh, nope, that was not enable blinkers. Um, there we go. Okay, I got blinkers down. Perfect. Okay, perfect. We will pull out of here. Oh, you know what? We need our beacons on or something. Okay, you know what? We can turn the combine. That would be good. We can turn the combine lights on. But uh, for now, we'll pull out. With the Kenworth. Oh, dude. Sweet one. Holy crap, man. Oh, dude. We don't have any dollies this time. Last time, I had a ton of dollies here. We Okay, we got to just keep our hazards on in general. There we go. We'll hit the road. And I don't think I have traffic turned on. Oh, shoot. We have the combine still running. <laughs> we'll hop in the combine. I'll turn on the beacons just because I think it would be... It would work good. There we go. That way people can actually see. Um, There we go. And now we'll get off. Okay. Kenworth, we'll get going with this. We'll truck this. This takes up like the whole entire roadway, it seems like. Uh, let me zoom out here. These poles. There we go. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get a perfect view, but it just keeps keep going everywhere. That looks sweet. Just, I don't know. The combine with the flotation tires? It looks pretty good here, to be honest. I like it. I don't know. It looks cool here. I like it. Looks good. Okay, so we'll take this road all the way down here. It'll kind of wind up, and then we'll take a left. Um, and then we should be pretty close to the farm. It's pretty much stay on this road the whole entire time. Now, I'm doing 51 mile an hour. Uh, speed limit's 55. And we're, we're trucking along here. Good. Everything's going good with it. Kenworth's pulling it. Now, this is the new Kenworth we got. The T880, which is bigger. Surprisingly, it's bigger than the T800 we have. I thought for sure our other... Uh, semi we had would be a lot bigger. Oh, steering's a little touchy here. It's <laughs> just a little dodgy. There we go. So let's pull up the map. See how far we got to go, boys. Keep going, and then we'll take a left. You know what? And I totally forgot. I have a steering wheel. I have a steering wheel, and I guess I don't have it at my apartment, but it just wouldn't work well with farming similar. I was just having troubles working uh, using it with farming similar. So I'll have to figure that out. Ho hopefully, somebody makes one that works with works good with farming similar. Okay, we'll keep trucking down here, and then this is the left I gotta take, and then I think we're coming up close to the farm. It's not even that long away as a trucking. Doing good though. I kind of like this semi. I do. We need to get some peats or something, because right now we only have Kenworths. Okay, slower down here. This road really narrows. Okay, this is basically a one, uh, one lane road, I guess you could say. Oh gosh, slower down, slower down, mate. There we go. We'll get on here. Let her rip. And then it should, the farm should be off to the right here. Yeah, we should be coming up on it off to the right here somewhere along here. There we go. And we'll deliver this to the guy's combine. Now he's probably going to need a header. He's probably going to need everything like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out later, I guess. Okay, where's his farm at? Maybe it's a ways yet. It could be, it could be a ways. Oh, there it is. Perfect. He's got the nice grain bin set up, dude. I've told you guys this so many times, but oh man, it'd be sweet to farm someday. It'd be really cool. It'd be really cool to farm someday. I always thought $10 million, $10 million is what you need to farm someday to be comfortable farming. But it'd be tough because if you had $10 million, would you really want to jump into farming? A lot of people, a lot of people love it and stuff, but a lot of people also, I don't know. I think it's, uh, I think it's kind of stressful and stuff. So I don't know. I think I would. I think I would. I would really love to. But um, what we'll do is we'll pull the semi around here and then I'll drop off these trailers or I'll drop off the combine here. I don't know what I'm going to do with my truck yet though. Okay. We will detach. Sorry, I'm trying to go through all the controls, kind of trying to figure out what's all what. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to leave the combine actually outside for now. We'll hop in here though. Oh shoot. There we go. The big deer, dude. I really need to get one of these for Yote Farms. I really... We, we, we should get one for Yote Farms. Yote. Yote. It's Yote. Yote Farms. Yote Farms. I haven't said Yote Farms in forever. Yote Farms is the series we're doing. We're running right now, guys. Okay. So, I will unload her. Um, shut her off. Perfect. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this semi. For now, I kind of might just leave it down here while we, uh, we hold the other one down here. While we hold the 9R down here. Um, for now, I guess I could... We'll hook up to her quick. There we go. I guess. Where do I want to put this thing? I need. I need. See, I need some type of storage or something. Some type of shop for my semis and stuff. Because I want to grow this. And eventually I want to have more people truck with me. So we can have big convoys and stuff. That's what I'd like to do. 
And you know what? I need to do a series where I do custom harvesting. Like I have our custom crew. We move from state to state. We do the wheat harvest, you know. We work our way up over the summer. That'd be pretty cool. And we haul over our equipment with semis. And then we go with big combines and stuff and cut through the field with like four different combines, you know. That'd be pretty cool if we did a series on that. So I will tab back. Oh, we got all this uh, in-game stuff right here. I'll tab back to the Kenworth T800. 800W. What does 800W mean, though? Fire up. Okay, and we actually have the beacons this time. Nice. This will work a little better. I love the Jake break here in this Jake break go. Oh gosh, don't put her in. Oh shoot. There we go. We kind of had to go through that stop sign. Okay, perfect. We'll take a left hand turn out of here. I get to turn on my flashers. There we go. Nice. Time to hit the road and time to truck down here. For some reason, my game volume is extremely quiet. I don't know why it is. Hopefully it's loud for you guys over there. There we go. So I was going to have Owen do this with me, but unfortunately he didn't have the map right away. So it's just me, but we have two trucks now. So I'm playing every video we do trucking. I should have more people on here. Also, tell me what we should uh, be trucking down in the comment section. Now, there, I, I always get a ton of comments, but I always try to I always try to read through all my comments. I think that's super important. So, um, maybe you don't see me replying to them, but I definitely try to lead, read through a lot of them. Like, literally, before I go to class, before I go to school and stuff, I'll be eating breakfast, and that's all I do. Just sit down for, like, 20 minutes and start reading through comments while I'm eating. So, um, comment down below if you guys have any good ideas on what we should truck. I've, I've, I'm planning on doing a house. I'm planning on doing a house soon. Right now, we're just kind of trucking heavy, equi heavy equipment. We're doing 65 mile an hour down here right now. That's probably that might be a little too fast. Yeah, that's be a little too late. 50. I don't want to get pulled over, man. I do not want to get pulled over. It's 63. Okay, we'll go 55. 55 is fair. 55 is fair. We shouldn't get pulled over at 55. Speed her up a little bit. There we go, and we'll drop off this 9R. It's still on there, good. Perfect. Dude, if I was this guy and I was doing custom harvesting, like I said, I probably would have went with an 8R. That way it's a little smaller, not as heavy to haul, and it can still pull a, a fairly heavy uh, grain cart. It's a thing. I feel like not many people go 9Rs when they're doing custom harvesting. A lot go like 8Rs. Okay, I think this speed limit's 55.2 through here, which we should be good through here. And I got to figure out, dude, you know what? I just need to buy a farm. That's what I do. I need to do. I maybe we could. I guess we could try doing that next episode or something. But I just need to start buying a farm or something like that, where we can store our equipment. But what about this farm next to us, across from us? I don't know if it has a for sale sign, but there's a shed there. So I just need one big shed just to store the semis. That's it. Oh, could we fit our equipment? Okay, hold on a sec. We gotta pull off to the side of the road. Oh, shoot. Do we get caught up? Oh, man. Oh, shoot. I didn't swing wide enough. Okay, we'll pull around here. But, man, you know what? This might not be bad. Something like this. All it is... Check this out. All it is... One shed, but the shed's a little small. That's the thing. Shed's a little small for what I want. But... One shed. can put all my semis in here. I can keep the trailers outside here. And then I have a nice pond... It's all kind of fenced off. It could go cheap. Huh. I'd, this might not be bad, dude. Think about it. I could put both my semis in here or more, multiple semis in here. This wouldn't be bad. This would not be bad at all. Okay. We will shut this door quick. And then we'll go buy... Uh, okay, let me know if you guys think I should uh, store my equipment here. This could kind of be my shop. Or I could rent the shop or something. Instead of storing, it, storing all my stuff in a farmer's... Uh, in a farmer's uh, shed for now. Shoot, how do I turn around here? Can we get around here? The one thing is, it's going to have a tight lot through there. Okay. Oh, man. i got to find a place to turn around up here. I'm going to need a big place to turn around. <laughs> Shoot. Man, we are going to need... Okay, hold on. Let me... Oh. We need to go a ways to be able to turn around here. Or I could try back... I could try backing up, maybe. Uh, nah. Okay, we gotta try backing up. Just back up in this grass here. Hopefully it doesn't mess up somebody's grass too bad. 
it's just it's just kind of a little ditch. It's it should be fine. I don't want to go in somebody's field. There we go. We're good there. We're good. Start cranking her. Perfect. Okay, we'll get back on the road and drop this 9R off for uh, harvest. There we go. And it's pulling good, dude. To be honest, it's not that heavy. It doesn't feel that bad behind the semi. I love hearing that Jake break go. One thing is, I live in. A, I live right next to a. Uh, I live right next to a, a highway, and so I can always hear the semi's Jake break going all the time. Like I'm just used to it now. Like every ten minutes or so, I hear Jake break going because it's kind of around a corner, and uh, semi's need to kind of stop pretty quick around there. Okay, we'll pull around here. Drop off the nine R. Disconnect right there. Oh shoot. Oh, back up, back up. Okay, right there. There we go. Time to hop in this puppy and get her off the trailer. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm thinking for now we'll just put it in front of the combine. That seems good. Yeah, just toss her right in front of the combine here. Right there. Okay, I gotta figure out what I want to do with my, uh, with my semis. I'd love to actually buy that place over there. That'd be pretty good. I kind of want to buy that place over there. That'd be... Should I buy that? Okay. Anyways, guys. This it will be the end of the video. Let me know. I'm kind of thinking that might not be a bad spot. But I could probably find another farm somewhere like better. To kind of be the Holland. Also, I need a name for this. Squads Holland. Squads Holland Co. Squads Holland Co. Squads Truck and Co. Squads Truck and Co. Squad. Squad Truck and Co. Squad Truck and Co. Sounds better. I think that's what we'll call it. Something like that. But anyways, guys, this will be the end. If you enjoyed this whole episode, let me know. Smash that like button, guys. And of course, there will always be more. Thanks for watching, brothers.